and play some videos. So we kind of get in depth with the case and OJ's affliction. So. Okay, this is from BuzzFeed of Solved Through Crime, the shocking case of OJ Simpson. About three minutes or so. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, I'm going to ask you, because Angel doesn't agree with me. You know Dave from Boy in a Band, right? Yeah. You know his videos were about five, six years ago, right? Yeah. Had about ten years to his face. Does he not look like him? No. Yes, he does. What's up, Jericho? What? On air. Dark Jericho popped on in. <laughs> What's up, man? Come on. You get up your crazy face. Serenity is good. Oh, come on up. Oh, come on up. Mr. Me, you're Berkeley. Oh. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi. What are you doing? You went Omega's live. Hey, Aries. <coughs> Alice's Aries, good to see you. I'm gonna sneeze again. Who are you listening to? More. Oh. At first I thought that was his life for a second. Is he live? More, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. He does these... One night he was baking supper and he goes, I haven't talked to you all in a while so I should be while I'm making supper. I'll okay. hop on here and do a live and see how y'all are doing. And he brings up people by name. Right? Yeah. And everything. He's great. Snape, it is raining, buddy. Raining. You're going to be wet if I take you out there. People that he knows face to face that he's bringing up by name. Hell, he's talked to me before. Hey, go, you going to be, you want to be a wet doggies? So... Give me your take on this too, and I know I got one watcher in here. Um, so I'm gonna ask to both of you guys. How would you guys like it if maybe on my Twitch to like, okay, you know how like how a lot of people like will will do like a makeup and a story, stuff like that. Like if I played a game and like talked about paranormal, 
like what I do on Spoon, but also game at the same time. Like, you know, like with, with uh, Sc uh, Scruffy, like how Scruffy plays the game and then he tells his story. Like, the style thing. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? She does her makeup. The makeup, yeah. I, murder makeup. Yeah. Like, something like that, you know? Can't remember her fucking name. Like, uh, I think that would be really fun to do on Twitch, and I'm wondering if that would get me a little bit of more of a following. It would, because people would be like, oh, damn, this dude talked about... UFO abductions, why he played E.T. or some shit. Yeah, or like, like if I'm playing Jason or something like that, or you know, talk about killers. That would be cool. So even even Jericho agrees with that. So like, I could do like, maybe like, as Kennedy, you know. You know my friend Sean that brings me home sometimes. Yeah. He he used to do those things on YouTube. He played games. He tell stories. That's why I said, has JJ ever watched Sean Sandbox? Because that was his channel. He had over fifty-four thousand subscribers. Good. Yeah, I think good. you know. I think that'd be good because I'm I'm getting. You could ask him. Hey, how did you do it? <laughs> Get some pointers from him. Yeah. And there was this dude. I swear to God, I didn't know Twitch was this damn popular. But this dude came in the other day, man. Looked like fucking mafia, FBI, mob people. <laughs> Had a big fucking Twitch jacket on, fucking sunglasses. Looked like he was gonna fucking kill somebody. It is, it is raining, baby boy. I was like, what the fuck? Do you, do you really need to go that bad that you're gonna go in the rain? And then kill him. What? He turned off the heat. <sighs> uh, what, do you, what games do you play, man? I'm, I'm completely um, down to find out, Jericho. I'm pretty sure I even poured water in there. There's no water in the back. There's very, very little. Actually, no, there's not. I could have swore I poured... Didn't I fill that up? Uh, Did I put grounds not. in there? Apparently not, because I come here and it looks empty. And I look in there and the grounds are dry as a bone. Okay, like, so at least I put grounds there. I could have swore I filled that up. Exactly, Joe Sayer. <clears throat> no, right. Okay. I'm gonna take you. Also, oh, if you no. also remember this too, watching the video, uh, actually watching during a live um, news uh, newscast about how OJ was driving his vehicle away from the police during the time when he was suspected of murdering his wife. So Four yes. words. If I did it. Yeah, if I did it, this way. is how I would have done it. Seriously, don't sit there and be like, oh, yay, and I got it. And you know what? He didn't do it until after he was acquitted and there was no way they could retry him for doing it. I know, right? right? But, seriously, Joe Sayer, Aaron, I mean, the ones that have been, saw the whole case and how he's tried to uh, escape from the police while in, on the highway, see on the news. Tell me, uh, say hell yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Emma's been reading his book. But at least, at least, you know, that is one thing you could, I could honestly say he was smart about. Is that he did it that way. If I would have done it, that but since say. they've already tried me once, they can't hit me again. Exactly, so now I can say whatever. What, whatever the fuck I want to say. And the only thing they can get him now for is lying under oath. They, yep. they had a picture. Spooner had a picture. Huh. But yes, um, but yeah, I remember the whole thing when he was trying to escape from. Wait a minute, who is a racist, King of Darkness? Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Joe Sayer. Appreciate that. So am I. I hungry. I'm Paraguay. <laughs> and I'm Turkey. <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I guess we're having
have a Thanksgiving early this year. A whole lot Let's of cock. Let's have a turkey! A whole lot of cock <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Fair enough. But thank you for getting rid of that asshole. So anyway. Everybody's at least had cock at least once in their life, right? <laughs> right? I mean, you want to get all technical about it. I mean, everybody's put cock in their mouth at least once. <laughs> Go ahead and try the cock, see if you like it. It may be a little dry, though. <laughs> I quit! Husky, I love you, damn it. Did you masturbate it? No? <laughs> I marinated it, but not <laughs> I let it cook in its own juices before I put it in my mouth. <laughs> I quit with you. <laughs> I quit with you. Oh my god. And everybody on Spoon thinks I'm lucky. This shit don't stop after the live stream, y'all. Oh my god. Do you uh do you play GTA at all, Jericho? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm dying too, uh, I'm dying. Well, I mean, I'm not wrong. Everybody's at least put cock in their mouth, right? He's right, you know. <laughs> cock and sausage. Or as they like to call it in the UK, bangers. Oh, see, they didn't. So, I mean, we've all eaten wieners, cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there blood on the floor? I don't think that's blood. Is that not blood? Nope. I think it's that cake. Maybe. Wieners, but, cock, ooh, what else? I have not ever Kitty put a cock in my mouth before. Oh. And, uh, cause who? We need your year of birth, please. Ever! Guilty! As charged. I mean, we've even put breasts in our mouths before, too. Breast, so, uh, cocks, um, wieners. Wieners. Uh, what else? I mean, there's. Twinkies, ding dongs. Uh oh. No, I'm just gonna make a sweet cold slut. Before, but it was actually, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Host is beat around the bush. I just went straight to the point. Yeah, blood on the floor. It was actually cake mixture. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. I go. She's like, Twinkies, ding dongs. I go. You know what? I'm just gonna skip right to the point. I go. The next week, I'm gonna call it sluts. <laughs> <laughs> you hear your dad? Oh my god. Oh my god. These slots are so good! Yeah. This, you know, this I can't have, wait to get me another one. Do you know what? The slush had should have cream filling inside. <laughs> Bavarian cream. Bavarian cream. Yeah, cream. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's making me want to go get a slot right now. <laughs> Welcome to the madness that tends to happen in the graveyard. It goes complete left field from the husky and even wifey. You guys are killing me small. Damn. Number 15, sluts. <laughs> Man, I haven't left this heart since I was a little girl. The last thing you would like to find in your Twinkies is some sluts. <laughs> Okay, <coughs> before I forget, please follow my demonic hellhounds and be respectful towards them. Emma! Oh uh, man, I wish you did. We'd be able to, uh, and we'd, we'd be able to, uh, to play this. Oh god, and please don't forget to follow Tiny Spider Queen, King of Darkness, Alice's Ares, Kitty G, and Rain of Rain. And don't forget to follow and Husky. He's not in here. Husky's not in your live. Well, hey, you're part of the Holland Brown team anyway, so I mean, you've been intrigued by the uh, freaking murder mysteries or mur uh, murder Mondays, so. Meow, 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 meow. And, oh, and also okay, since ask and you shall receive. Exactly. Ask and you shall There's receive. The husky, my partner. And husky. Husky. When he says partner, you thought he was just talking about a paranormal group, didn't you? Not only are we, not only are we partners in the paranormal activity, we're also lovers. Huge time lovers. I mean, what? Good friends. 
Yeah, yeah good friends. Good I'm friend. the cameraman. Good friends that like to, that like to enjoy some weenus. Yes, and some long foot, long hot doggies. Ooh, and some and sausage. Uh, Allosaurus, uh, Allosaurus, Aries, a sub husky, long time no see. Yes, indeed, indeed. Right. My cannoli's not the only thing that's got cream filling in it. <laughs> oh, I'm done with your ass. This is what we call the snowball effect and the matchstick comedy. Come from the husky. The snowball effect and matchstick comedy, what? Yeah, matchstick. Yeah, matchstick comedy. Step right up on the next game of matchsticks, where we match each other's decks to find out who you're compatible with. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jimmy, let me see your deck. Here, I'll put mine out. Uh, while I, whip this I, I think you you go really well with Chris over there. Go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alright, alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Chris is a vegan. He doesn't eat meat. <laughs> Man, what a vagina. Sorry, Johnny, for that. Did somebody say fish tacos? Yes, fish tacos. Definitely worth the protein a daily amount. Part of me just died. <laughs> huh? Jericho's in my. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. Let's oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Here. My wiener has a first name. It's O S O S C A R. I mean. I just have a question. Anybody when their dick talks to them does it sound like a Chico? Just let it be. I mean, you can have it. Better name. That's got it. Right. Anyway. Let's continue on this video. I remember three dudes I used to hang out with all the time, and this is what they talked about all the time, is their dick sounded like a chico when it talked about Mine just goes, yo, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. YouTube's going to have a field day with this one. They're like, oh, man, well, no, we can't, we can't have any of this. What the hell? Your video has been removed for content. <laughs> <laughs> but the editors are looking going, but he's so funny though. <coughs> <laughs> Don't forget guys to subscribe and like. You know that Facebook took my painting off of my Facebook. Oh, the Hitler one? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was apparently against terrorism or something, it was a picture of a house. Mind you, a very good picture of a house. Just because he was a dick didn't mean he wasn't a good artist. And, you know, and here's the thing, too. You're going to get into the history of him. Yes, regardless, Hitler did. Oh, my God. It's literally the, the world's most horrific thing ever. One of the most horrific things ever in the world. But he also did a lot of good. If it wasn't for Hitler, we wouldn't have the Autobahn. You know? True. So, you know, yes, a bigger con than the pros. And there were... A some, way bigger con than the pros. With some of his human experiments, we learned things about eye surgeries. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. Um, we learned a lot of things about twins due to his surgeries. Or his tests. Or whatever. So yeah, he was a dick, and he did a lot of horrific shit, but he was a very smart man. He just used it for the wrong reason. Okay, I question that uh, quote-unquote suicide note from O.J. Simpson, because honestly... No, he did, actually. But he said that he, if, you know, if there was a problem, it's because he loved her so much. Honestly, I have a hard time oh, believing I... that. You know, that whole, what he wrote, you know, it's just doesn't seem something seems out of place if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Maybe on Twitch, maybe do like a anyways, a game see. and a story. Story and games. And like 
maybe whatever theme, you know, I could do on Twitch. So, like, say if I'm playing this, I could just, like, sit there it's and... It's like a live stream just for gamers. Twitch can be used for other people than just games. So, oh, there's a, like, um, you could do just talk, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's live. You know, people are going to see you. I mean, there's, you're not going to get a lot of views if people don't see you. Right. So, you, it, it's, it's anything. It's, okay, so it's, Twitch is like a YouTube, but for the smaller people. The people who are trying to get noticed. You'll get noticed on Twitch. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a great platform. I, I, I strongly, strongly suggest anything, uh, a lot of people to go out on Twitch first. But this is YouTube. Yeah, right now I'm on YouTube, yes. Okay. But you can also do this on Twitch. Yeah, I can do the same exact thing, but since I don't have a laptop, and I gotta actually like log into Twitch, Twitch itself, the website of Twitch, not just going through the app. Um, I could, uh, I stream on Twitch sometimes, is what he said, and uh, you know, I have a laptop, right? Yeah, and like what you could do, like okay, what I could do, okay, so say if I if I start doing Kennedy, what I could do is I could do what they call a slime ball. And this, okay, when people watch you on Twitch, you're like, okay, so let me use this as an example. In, sp in Spoon, you get 10 spoons when you first join, right? You can spend your 10 spoons. Or you get two? Well, when I joined, it was 10. Um, so, okay. With Twitch, and you make this thing, it's called a slime ball. And then say, if somebody comes in and watches me, that slime ball grows. Like, like it's like kind of like an objective. Watch just streamer for five minutes, hey 500 points. Uh, you. Subscribe to this, you get like another 300. And then what them points do, right? They go in your slime ball. So say like, now you got like, just say for example, 1800 points in your slime ball. If you click on your slime ball, on um, there, it will say, it will give something in there. So like a lot of the uh, Twitch streamers will say, posture check, because a lot of them are gamers. So you have to do a posture check, and like if you're if, like if I'm sitting there gaming like this, and somebody spent points on the slime ball, and clicked posture check, I would have to go okay posture check, you know, and do that, and it's for the fans to interact with you. Or a lot of them will say stay hydrated, water edition or coffee edition, and then you have to take a sip because they bought the points for yeah, you to yeah, take yeah. a drink, well, you know, or. Um, Yay, the dog has one again. Alright, everybody. Yeah, it, it kind of disappoints the fans because they're spending points on you to do this. Um, it could be like, highlight my message for 500 points. So, like, if there's a whole bunch of comments going down my screen, that one will be highlighted. It'd be brighter than anybody else's. I mean, it'd be bigger and more highlighted than anybody else. That's why at the bottom of my screen down here, like not in this one, but at the bottom it says hi, you can add me at PSN at AJ Hibbs, or please follow me on Twitch at Kennedy Kiss. Right there. So there. it gives me a bigger fan base so I can get friends on PSN and on Twitch. And then what I tell people, if I like say if I log on to Twitch, I'm like I follow for follow. That is a huge red flag. And if I, I if somebody follows me on Twitch, I follow them back on Twitch. I mean, like kind of like on Spoon, like I'm like, oh, you fan me, I'm gonna fan you. Same on YouTube, I fan, I fan everybody who fans me back. I've always been that way on any platform, you know. If you're gonna take the time to sit there, but if I get 20 more fans to follow me on Twitch, on Twitch. I become what they call affiliated, which means Twitch will pay me to broadcast. But it is really hard to get, and it, it's, like I'll have to pull up, there's a checklist, like uh, it will say your summary at See, the end of each broadcast go, I do Ned. is in. <laughs> and as long as you've completed everything in that summary, Twitch will pay you. See, Nads for Aaron and- I don't know how much. Emma. <laughs> but I do know it's like you have to have, per hour, I have to have a constant three people watching me per hour. 
Like it, ha it can't drop down any lower than three people. If it drops lower than three, you don't get Yeah, paid. I don't get paid. Um, and you gotta hit a certain hour marker, like, and I think it's like for the whole week. So your summary like pretty much hits you in a nutshell. So say, stream, it would be like, say you gotta stream like six, six hours. Dog. You know, for the week. So as long as I hit that six hours, it doesn't matter if I go over it or not. That six hours gets, it stays there. That's crazy. Um, huh, that's what she said. And vice versa. What, the remote? Medicine. Like, but I mean, yeah, normally I do broadcast on, on Twitch. But what I've been doing too, Jericho, is uh, I'm using my spoon to uh, boost my platforms. Whoa. So I'm using my spoon to broadcast on here and using my spoon to broadcast on Twitch as well. So, uh, But I think I think that'd be a, a, a good thing is to uh I think I may do that, like gaming in a story. So like maybe I'll do like uh you know, like work on a couple of stories, you know, something interesting that I'm you know, interested in. I may like revisit some old stories like Stan Romanek or yes, something. You're good. And uh go from that route. Somebody opened coffee. We have coffee yogurt? Yeah, we have. You haven't had this? Oh, like somebody, it's weird. They opened it like a crack, but they didn't eat it. It's coffee yogurt. Taste. Well, that's tasty. You want coffee yogurt? It definitely needs yeah, to be. Where it kind of disappointed me with the case. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, that's good. Like said, yeah. Just huge evidence against him, and yet he was, um, you know, like they said. All right, sorry, got uh, some stuff in my face here. Not guilty, or pleaded not guilty. Well, he pleaded not guilty, but the, the jurors basically said I'm not guilty. Like I said, it just baffles me because honestly, I'm pretty sure. 100% without a doubt that he did do it. I am not a betting person, but I'd bet money that that man killed his wife. Everything points to him. Pretty tasty. Alright, give me one second here, Jericho. I mean, I've tried a lot of new food since I started my job. Yeah? Almond butter, peanut butter, what? yogurt, figs. Yeah. 
OCP. We have so many different songs. Your teeth are fucked. I know. Don't feel bad, mine aren't. Okay. 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 Ok
since I will not be here when the kids get off of school, I want to try to get enough sleep where I can wake up in the morning. I'm going to leave at 6.15 again. Okay. Really? So you got to get up at the butt crack again? Yeah. The juice is <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm going to wake Angel up singing happy birthday and let her blow out her candles. <laughs> All right. Double kill. That way they can have cake and ice cream when they get home. <coughs> Bless you. You know. Oh. Captain Gloves. What about his voice? <coughs> Bless you. That was a fun one. Okay. Give me a moment here, guys. I need to go get something real quick. 
But before I go get my, uh, before I need to get something this way, uh, uh, please follow my demonic hellhound, Emma the Yondiri Stabber, <clears throat> Aaron the Wicked Wack with all nut sacks of nuttiness, Aaron, and the comedian and the paranormal investigator himself, Jose. And don't forget to follow Tiny Spider Queen, King of Darkness, Bestie, Archangel, Alexis, Ares, Rain of Rain, and... Husky! And don't forget to follow... It's got a King nice, King it's got a beautiful ring to it. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Demon Omega is still a face. That's right, Demon Omega is still a face. And by Folgers Black Silk Coffee. Nope, not tonight. I have something else in store planned. And Demon Omega is still a face. Nope, not tonight. I have something else in store planned. And Showcase Showdown. Nope. Somebody hand me my coffee cup that's over there. It's too far away. It's so, so far, so far away now. It's getting cold. Man, something's wrong with my feet. I think my feet are swelling because, like, when he woke me up, like, from my ankles and my foot, like, on both of them, was hurt. Like, I was in pain now. And tonight's broadcast is all to you brought, also brought to you by, hold on, let me get the narrator, number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you want to see in the graveyard is somebody else's foot fungus. <laughs> the zombie's foot lettuce, not the greatest tasting thing ever. But if you smoke it, you may be relaxed, but I'll let you decide if it's real. Um, I'm actually a paranormal investigator, so it's Josair and uh, Eric. And Husky. Y'all are just fucking mean. We are not mean, but I'll let you decide. <laughs> okay. I, I love me some chills, okay? Okay, real quick here. Like, I, I think I wanna, I'm gonna ask Chills if I if I ever get big enough on YouTube, I'm gonna ask Chills to go out and have coffee with me. And then I'm gonna record it because I may end up talking like this. <laughs> and this live stream has brought to you by Monster. Unleash your inner so peace. People used to ask me why I sounded like this, and I didn't understand because this is just. My voice. Uh, you know, he actually did a video on why he sounds like that. Yeah, it's because he talks like that. He's like, this is my normal voice. I don't know why everybody thinks it's like a narration. But this is how I actually sound. This is what the husky guy really sounds like, people. The whole time I had you fooled with this voice. But I really sound like this. Never mind, you're busy. I don't want to you. Your face is busy, but it bothers me. Ho! Oh, whoa! That was so lame. The multi, uh, multiverse. He's <laughs> going, what the fuck was that headache yeah. from? Yeah. I thought that was fucking hysterical. Ah! <sighs> fucking hysterical is my line. Fucking hysterical. That is hysterical. Oh! I think. Joe Cody's still watching me, man. I know I'm getting kind of crazy on here. Oh. It's getting hot in here. I turned on my heater. It is getting so hot. I'm finally starting to warm up. And you're killing me with the heat. Good. I can at least get warm. I hope, I hope you really do sleep well tonight, honey. And I will, cause you'll be, you'll be in the bedroom cause it's cold in there. I'll be on the couch. Couch <laughs> party for Demon Wifey. Woohoo. Demon Wifey couch party 2020. Bitches. <laughs> Uh, love my wife, even though she tends to drive me mad as a times. 
Oh, well, right on, man. Um, right on. Right. It's not easy. Like I said, it, uh, I know regardless, maybe, okay. like, me and Demon make it look easy, but uh, being able to pop out topics, like, you know, nonstop. Uh, in, in but, uh... Room, but I'll let her know when she gets back. Let's see here. I it's, uh... Video? It does. It gets hard, man. And, uh... Um... We, uh... You know, like, even I took a little breather from from broadcasting, which, okay. you know, I brought up earlier in a few of my lives. Uh, is ah. that, uh... Is that, uh, I brought up, um... That, uh... Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Actually, I got some that I want you, I would want you guys here. Where are they now? The O.J. Simpson trial. The town and country, um... Dot com. 25 years after the verdict was handed down, Several key players in the trial of the century have left the legal profession. Others have shot to pay, and some have passed away. 25 years ago today, which is October 3rd, 1995, nearly 150 million people watched the live burden as O.J. Simpson was found not guilty of the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ronald Lyle Goldman. And over half of America's mouth dropped because we all knew that was bullshit. Now, the shocking verdict may have brought an end to the nearly year-long trial. Like, yeah, I do agree with that, honey. I mean, everyone's mouth just went, boom, hit the ground. He floor. was black! Yeah. Which what was judge by uh, consistent media coverage that uh, uh, right, or gripped the nation, but the case still cast a long shadow. The trial made bona fide celebrities of some uh, peripheral characters in Simpsons life, like Chris Jenner, and has been subject of numerous documentaries. Uh, you right, I mean, let me know what you're going to talk about, too, Jericho. Like the people versus O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. In two decades since the trial, several members of the Dream Team uh, have passed away, while other key players have left the legal profession entirely. Some, like Alan Dershowitz. Uh, remain pictures of the political scene. Simpson uh, himself later did jail time for armed robbery. Here, take a look at the major players from the trial of the century, and where are they now? Oriental, James Simpson. Two years after Simpson's 1995 acquitted, the civil court jury found him liable for the deaths of his ex-wife and Goldman, and awarded $33.5 million to the families, which later doubled to $70 million due to interest. As Simpson has never fully paid the restitution. In 2007, he was arrested in Las Vegas and charged with armed robbery and kidnapping, of which he was later convicted and sentenced to 33 years in prison, a minimum of nine years without parole. He served nine years at the Lovelock Correctional uh, Center in Nevada, and he was granted parole in July 2017. He was released on October 1st. 2017. Yeah, he's doing he a Halloween drunken Bible reading. 73 years old. Simpson lives mostly under the radar in Las, Las Vegas. Marcia Block. The trial's lead prosecutor resigned from the Los Angeles District Attorney Office after the case and left the practice of law. Her memoir of the trial, without a doubt, fetched a four million advance. Clark, now 67, has gone on to write a series of crime novels and also appeared as a television commentator about high-profile trials. Johnny Cochran. Johnny's Cochran, what? Nope, there's a guy named Johnny Cochran, you jack. As Simpsons lead attorney on the Dream Team, Johnny I don't Cochran want anybody's Cochran. Play with his charisma and catchphrases. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Has certainly uh, entered the nation Let's find out after the trial. Cochran continued to practice law and appeared to be commentator. He died of brain cancer in 2005 at the age of 68. Man, that's not what I said. I, I say if it doesn't fit, make it fit. <laughs> I mean... We're not talking about you. Well... Quit being such a freaking narcissistic asshole. I mean, I definitely don't quit when it doesn't fit. I make it fit. But do boom Oh! Where is my sledgehammer? Little boy blue. Hey, he needed the money. Shut the <laughs> hell up. Hickory dickory dog. Shut the hell up. Orithal. 
No, not Orintho. Okay, Orintho. Let's try and get the bug back in this name, place. Uh, okay. You know, my mama always said, now, I catch some if Husky was in the face, OJ Simpson would still be in jail. Collect some pieces of shit rich folks for us, bring them to the club, and all the flies will follow. Now, this is what happens during the time that the Husky is part of my live stream. We get into these kind of little whips with each other. What? It, what kind of clips are you talking about here? You and New. That's the kind of clips I'm talking about, asshole. Wow. There's no, there's no clips. You, you have no proof. Oh, I do. And honestly, and I posted on Pornhub. Damn it! I want my royalties then. <laughs> have you not seen my icicle? I mean, let me tell you. Yeah, it's about 12 feet long and 13 feet wide. Yeah, it's pretty big. Anyways, let's continue on. F. Lee Bailey. Another member of the Dream Team, the 87-year-old e uh, F. Lee Bailey, who also famously re uh, represented Patty Hearst. Oh, the Leviathan, huh? The Ooh. Trial. He was dis uh, disbarred in both Florida and... Interesting, interesting. Uh, like I said, man, don't like don't forget, hit me up on Instagram. I know I was kind of away from my phone quite a bit today. Even after passing the bar in May, Before you go live, man, like, drop me a call or something. He has still been on, denied a license to practice. On Instagram. And, Robert uh, Kardashian. Yeah. Mm. What? I don't understand what the Kardashians, 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 Kardashians. Anyways, Robert Kardashian was one of the Simpsons' oldest friends. They met as students at USC, and Simpson served as best man at Kardashian's 1978 wedding to Chris Hewton, who, of course, later became Chris Jenner. Uh, Kardashian was not a practicing lawyer when Simpson's trial began, but he reactivate, uh, reactivated um, his practice to join the defense team. Maintained serious doubts about Simpson's innocence, and the two stopped talk speaking after the trial. Kardashian died of uh, so fecal cancer in 2003. I know I'm mispronouncing that. I do apologize. At age 59, since his death, Kardashian's ex-wife and his children, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob, shame, 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 at these people being yeah, fucking television. Making me, making me feel like I've lost 2,000 IQ points seeing them on television. Have become mega celebrities thanks to the reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I mean, Kardashians. Kevorkian. <laughs> yeah, for the Kevorkian. So, uh, I gotta ask you, Jericho, since you're watching. Um, Monday. Has my shout-outs kind of helped you out with getting more people into your life? The house where she was murdered out on close by to it. Oh, really, am I? Really? What was that? Was it Mary Berry Cherry? That's oh, that's what I like to hear, man. That's what I like to hear. It was in a purple thing. Mary Berry Cherry. I think so. AJ, do you remember? Was what? Mary Berry Cherry that smell? From Bath and Body Works, it was in a purple bottle. Yeah, that's really scary. I have no idea. You were close by the murder scene. Did you know this? Emma is close to the uh, murder scene of the OJ something else. I want pictures. Is there a way you can get that? Get the, I, want to, I want to check it out. When you do get a chance, and get by there, get some pictures, because honestly, I would love to see this, Emma. All right, let's continue. Chris Darting. That's good. Like you know, like I, you know, I do get a lot of that from people. Um, is that people will say, you know, just your little shout out helped me out so much in. And, and getting and getting and fans and or getting a fan base. Let's see if it makes a difference. They're not He's celebrities. Still long, but no celebrity wants to be seen here at the moment. The man charged with killing hip hop mogul Nipsey Hussle. But Darden withdrew from the case, saying his family had received death threats in August 2020 
the 64 year old Gardens announced that he would represent Corey Walker, the alleged killer of rapper Pop Smoke. Chris Jenner. Uh, I knew this was going to end up happening again. Uh, anyways, Chris Jenner, the former wife of Robert Kardashian, one of Simpson's lawyers, was good friends with Nicole Brown Simpson. The four were often photographed together at Los Angeles social events of the, in the late 1980s. In 1991, she divorced Kardashian and married former U.S. Olympian Caitlyn Jenner, born Bruce Jenner. They divorced in 2015. After the trial, the shot to fame with her reality series with her family, keeping over the Kardashians, I mean Kardashians, Kardashians, or Kardashians, or whatever, Kardashians, uh, the show has spawned numerous business adventures, and Jenner, now 64, remains one of the most visible public figures from the trial. Alan Dershowitz, uh, famous even before the Simpson trial, for getting Claus von Bulo acquitted for murder, of murder. Dershowitz uh, emerged as another celebrity super lawyer. He taught at Harvard Law until 2013. He has advised a, numer a number of high-profile clients, including Jeffrey Epstein, JJ's favorite Epstein, video game is Julian Fortnite, Sage, right? And Harvey yeah. Weinstein. Now, 82, Dershowitz is still making headlines. I'm pretty much uh, obsessed with it right now. Trump throughout his impeachment trial. Uh, Let's Ito, the judge, um, decision to allow television coverage of the trial was controversial. In many ways, changed the nature of criminal trials. It was also revealed that Ito's wife, Margaret York, had been the uh, detective, Mark Foreman's superior officer in the past. <coughs> Excuse me, but Ito did not rescue himself from the case. Ito remained a judge of the Los Angeles County Superior Court until his retirement in 2015. Now, 70, he has kept a low profile since the trial and never publicly discussed it or given interviews. Jill Garcetti, uh, now 79, was two years into his first term as the Los Angeles County District Attorney when the O.J. Simpson trial began. He won re-election to the DA's office in 1996, but lost in 2000. Since leaving public office, he served on a city ethics commission as a fellow of the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard as consulting producer in the TNT series, The Closer, and the show Major Crimes. His son, Eric Garcetti, is the current mayor of Los Angeles. Robert Shapiro, one of Simpson's 15 lawyers, famously clashed with F. Lee Bailey in the courtroom, and the feuding did not stop with O.J. trial. Shapiro later testified as the government witness Bailey uh, when he was accused of trying to keep 20 million in stock that one of his clients should have forfeited to the government. Shapiro went on to represent Steve Wynn of Wynn Resorts, Eva Longoria, and Rob Kardashian, his former colleague's son. After his own, uh, Brent died from a drug overdose in 2005, he funded the Brent Shapiro Foundation, a nonprofit uh, that aims to raise drug awareness and also rehabilitation facility. He is now 78. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mark Furman. Okay, Kato Kalin. That guy looked like he was a rock star back in the back in the nineties. Uh, one of the more unusual characters in the trial was Kato Kalin, a struggling actor who lived in the Simpsons guest house. He was home during the night of the murders and was a minor witness for the prosecution. He was also dubbed the famous house guest in America. He later appeared in sketch comedy <laughs> reality shows and had small parts in television and film. He also won landmark case in the field of Libel Law at the National Enquirer ran a shirtless photo of him with the headline, Cop Snakes, Cato Did It. We need people to state the year of birth or what they drive by. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do this because honestly, um, if you guys Give me one second, don't Jericho. know what movies, like I said before, um, let me think here. Let me go ahead and do this because honestly, this brings back some memories. Ah! Okay, some of you guys might recognize this because this is one of the films that he was in.
That's what it was called. Merry Cherry Cheer. What? Merry Cherry Cheer. That's what oh. it was called. Oh. See, I'm not very good with names on mine. Yeah, me either. Very cherry cheer. Playing one of the movie's themes that O.J. Simpson was in, The Naked Gun. Is that a shelf, a built-in shelf? Hmm? A built-in shelf in her room. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he played the sidekick of Lizzie Nielsen's character. Peace in a podcast, good to see you. Hey, peace. But yes, um, like I said, Ellie. Oh, camera. Uh, yeah, to the, but what month is the biggest question? Sounds like the point is up in here. I know, right? Welcome back, Justin. But yeah, I mean, like I said, with, you know, supposedly the house guest, Kato Kalen, he was a very, very unusual man. But when I saw him in the Pantera home videos, I think it was like number three? You see him drinking with a bunch of people and with some of the band members of Pantera. He was just kind of weird and bizarre, you know? Alright, thank you, Jacob. Wait, how do you spell Fortnite? F O R T. Do you uh -huh. say Fortnite? Fortnite, like the game. F O R T. Uh huh. Fortnite. N I T E. You said Fortnite, not Fortnite. Love you, honey. Was it a reason? Yes, he was also. Uh, like I said, he was a broadcaster early uh, in the last year. Sorry, you need to stop doing that. I love you. Thank you. I'm in my corner, it's most of us, but demon around. Yes. I'll, if they can handle the situation. I heard pork and this thing went to chicken or fish for, for what I can cook. <laughs> you know, here's a funny thing. Throughout the whole time you see OJ Simpson's face in the trial, he looked like he was bored. I mean, yeah, you can see him kind of like making brown faces and all this. Honestly, that's a little suspicious right there. I mean, you gotta think about that. Chum, you say your year of birth? Because if you didn't, you got five. Oh, never mind. But yeah, here's the reason why I still believe the reason why the glove didn't fit. If the blood soaked into the glove, uh, to the uh, leather glove, it'll shrink it. You know making it impossible for him to actually fit inside the gloves.
The evidence was tempered. Exactly. A lot of the evidence was tempered. Yeah, I played that earlier piece in the podcast. But yeah, some of us, um, yeah, I kept saying the dog was the winner of the whole case. Have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh man, this heat is killing me, Smalls. So, man, thank you for verifying. Oh, real quick, people that did verify their year of birth, here is your formal greeting. Go. Uh, uh, here we go. I will. I will. Hold on. Nope. Me, it's a Mario. If they said the name, if they bring up the name, the name, name, does it bring bad juju against me? Something bad will happen. Sorry, Luigi, but your board is in another castle. <laughs> but, however, you say, no matter how much you like your brother, he don't want your dick. Uh. But what about if she did? What about if she did? Like the small no chubby one, <laughs> not the tall lanky one. Oh yeah. my god, you need to do Mario and Luigi. I know, we, we need to do Mario and Luigi one year. I did Luigi one year. Uh, you two need to do that! What? One year you and him need to go as Mario and Luigi. Yeah, because honestly, he's tall as Luigi. And I'll be Mario. But I gotta have the raccoon ears and the tail. Oh, we could be Raccoon Mario and Luigi? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> We're gonna be, yeah, you know what? Next I should be walking behind you two. I'll actually yeah. play that loudly too. <laughs> we should just have a loop and a boombox speaker wherever we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then yours could be that team and mine could be dun na 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 dun na 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 dun na 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 isn't that the Bowser uh -huh. fight? Dun 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 <laughs> you know what? Me and Tyson, we, we have a meeting. Mike Tyson's punch out, Tyson? No, nope, oh Tyson God. Ritter. Mario was the referee in that I'm, game. I'm going to go talk to Tyson Ritter for a while. But anyway, um, number 15. Emma's <laughs> so, so violent, she's a gun. What do you mean, so violent? I'm sorry, I keep missing you in my streams. When I start going on my devil, I can't stop. It's okay, and it's deviling. Shut up, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna shut up, Emma. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's 
go back. Let's go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. There. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Raw 1995. O.J. Simpson verdict is not guilty. And this is the last. You know, during the last part of the. Uh, <laughs> oh, me at the casino. The, yeah. Uh, last part of the jury, or the, you know, the trial. No, I don't. Nads, nads, nads. There. Oh, you know what? I keep on forgetting to check these. I still say he's guilty. Welcome back, bestie. Kitty furry. So relaxing. Anyways. Alright. <clears throat> Please, don't forget to follow my demonic hellhounds. Emma, the young dairy stabber. The wicked whack of the all nut sacks of nuttiness and cr uh, crunchy peanut butters. Aaron W. Joe Sayre, the comedian and paranormal investigator himself. Don't forget to follow Tiny Spider Queen, Interstellar Gemini, Justin Ropeman, um, Bestie, King of Darkness, Archangel, Alexis uh, Aries, Kenny G, Old Soul Table, and Husky. And don't forget to follow your DJ, David Omega. On to this day, I think it's guilty to me and my mom don't even get into this because of the conflict. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I said, he was a broadcaster, a great football player, and also a very commu uh, comedic actor on the Nicky Gun series and, some, and other good films that had some serious roles to it. He was actually really good. But, however, it does change the fact that, you know, the... The if, even or if I did kill her, book was a huge red flag, you know. And let's see here. Let me pull up another video. How O.J. Simpson's car chase played out. This is the chase scene that some of us do remember from the '90s. <sighs>
Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. FDL. I have a question for you. Oh, never mind. They, uh, left. Alright. Let's continue. Hey, they're so freshly squeezed. Savokian Witch, good to see you. I'm, I'm okay. That one guy? How are you Do doing? I know you? Waiting on people to uh, to so, join us. Uh, which is good, people. Which is good. I just got a new started. Oh, awesome, awesome. Today? I'll have a housekeeper sent up immediately. Yeah, absolutely. Excuse me. Freshly squeezed. Absolutely.
Hey, welcome back. Am I the imposter husky? No, I am not the imposter husky. <laughs> Don't you think this is kind of ironic? His name is OJ. And after he gets out of his vehicle, he grabs a glass of OJ. <laughs> is it just me, or is it, do you think that's kind of ironically funny? Yeah, the juice has some orange juice. <laughs> yeah, the irony right there. <laughs> Jesse, I need your year for please. Anyway, let's continue. Face disturbs me. OJ Simpson was acquitted of the murders but found responsible. Ah. Uh. All right, yeah, give me uh, give me one second here. Freshly squeezed, I'll check it here. J. Simpson was acquitted of the murder, but found responsible for the deaths in civil court. Fire rope, we need your year of birth, please. <sighs> oh, um, this is the last one of this month, so like I said, people, after, you know, this week, and the last day is going to be the 30th for me to live stream and then throughout the whole month of November I'm going to be gone for the school. Yay! I mean, aww. Uh... You know what, Husky? Read between the lines. Who, remo oh, who removes, uh, witch? Who removed witch? Who removed, somebody removed the lonely witch? S uh, Sopa V and witch. Oh. I need answers now. Well, looks like you're gonna have to unblock. Emma, let them know it was the next thing will slip. I'll get uh witch unbanned. Thank you for the like. But anyways, uh, Edward, good to see you. But yeah, this is the last Murder Monday for this month. Uh, like I said, th uh, just to make a quick announcement, uh, I got some other um, things going on this week. Um, there might be a few surprises. I'm waiting for it to load. I'm checking it out, uh, freshly squeezed. Conspirator, because we may be talking about some paranormal stuff. Um, however, um, throughout the whole month of November, I'll be gone. But I will be back on December 1st. Oh. Uh, again on. Oh, that's November. really good. And Husky. What? Shut your face up. That's. <laughs> How long have you known me? Two thousand years. I need new friends. Have Have you ever known me to sh just shut up? Uh, no. Uh, there may have been one time, but that's because you were asleep. Yeah. Even then, I don't. I don't shut up. <laughs> but in all seriousness, love you, Husky. That's really good. What? I wish I could draw portraits like that. That's really good. But, um, but yeah, tomorrow, um, I will be getting the do the, uh, let's see, tomorrow, yeah, it'll be Ichabod Crane himself. Then, for the rest of the week until December, th or October 30th, I'm going to be covering The Sleepy Hollow and The Truth Behind It. And then on October 30th, I'm going to be doing, uh, Dia de Muertos or Day of the Dead. And... However, um, then 
uh, Joe Sayre here, who has a birthday on Halloween, so if he does a live, seriously, follow him, it may be an interesting live stream. So, um, <coughs> now like I said, it's really good, really, really good. But, yeah, I mean, for some of you that already ha that have my Snapchat or Instagram, you can contact me anytime. Any people that have I GTA online, I do. Uh, throughout the whole month of November, but I'm dealing with some things that <coughs> I'm still kind of feeling depression right now, even though I don't, even though I'm not really showing some tonight, but I still feel the depression because the loss of my son of last year, uh, who was, who was, well, we couldn't actually save him, but he was dead before he was born. So, um, yeah, this you know, fair warning. Um, to, uh, not fair warning, but you know, just kind of let you guys know what's going on next month. I won't be on Spoon, but if I do get asked to be on Spoon for certain things, I will show up. But however, I will not be on Spoon, okay, for the whole month of November. Um, however, the Husky guy will continue. Uh, will continue on. He'll be on more often, and he'll basically you know, show support as much as I su support him when he was away from Spoon. So, um, whenever he goes live, people, show him the love and respect that you showed me throughout the time that he was gone, you know? But, yeah, don't, I mean, you guys, don't be sad on my account. But I do appreciate you guys, you know, for your concerns and... Work. See, this is... Well, that's yeah. why I just left for a while. No, I'm joking. Um, oh. Because I didn't want to deal with the, uh... Dick -like part. I do appreciate you guys supporting me. Uh, through this trouble time. Um, on November and everything. So, seriously, thank you. Really do appreciate everything that you guys don't, you know. I mean, seriously. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't be doing these Murder Mondays, these, you know, paranormal chats and everything else throughout this whole month. And, um, here's the thing. I, <coughs> um, but if you guys do want to get in contact with me, just to check up on me throughout the whole month, here is my Instagram if you want to, uh, Basically if you want to know what Demon Omega looks like, follow Demon Omega on his Instagram. If you're curious to know what Demon Omega looks like, follow him on his Instagram at Demon Omega is chillin. YT. <laughs> but yeah, but there's my Instagram if you guys um, want to send me messages and everything else, and I do appreciate it. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. Um, like I said, this is the last Monday before I go complete break uh, of November, but I still got some uh, few live streams left to do for the rest of this week, but I won't be doing one on, on Halloween. But, I will reveal the next serial killer. Well, thank you, uh, Edward. But the next serial killer that we're going to be doing, once I get back... Is, is the him. husky guy. You're not a killer, you're just a face. Is, let me show you his picture, and some of you might know who he is. The husky guy. No. Nope. But that's just a theory. A stupid theory. Uh, a husky theory. theory. Now, seriously, where my days will return. Now, does this guy look uh, familiar to you all? It's the husky guy. No, you narcissistic prick. This guy is the next in line, but his name is Richard. 
Kuklinski by the name of the Iceman. You mean so it's it's not the husky guy? No. So and then I have something surprising um, after that live stream because I will make you choose two different uh, mur uh, murder uh, Monday people that I would like you guys to choose from and whoever wins, whoever loses, has to go up against the next uh, person in of interest. The husky Alan, guy. You're fired, please. You're fired, husky. <laughs> But that's just a theory, a husky theory. Thanks for watching. Yes, he was a hitman, Emma. A yeah. hired assassin. I'm a hired assassin. Yeah, you're a hired ass. I'm here all week. Double kill. But yeah, this is, uh, yeah, he's a very interesting case, Emma. Definitely worth uh, reading on everything. And um, honestly, the husky guy kind of gets, um, you know, go here. Why don't you check this guy out? So, this is the next one. Go figure, I, I bring you something icy. Yep, and it's going to be for the month of December. What a great start, huh? For Murder Mondays. What a twist! Honestly, looks like an old neighbor guy was cool with something good for the whole of DMX. All right, Edward, whatever you do, wherever you're at, and whatever the hell is going on. Does Edward have scissor hands, by any chance? His last name is Parkhurst. Jack. Oh. oh. Well, that doesn't mean anything, does he still have scissor hands? No. So he's got hands, hands. Hands, hands. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, the Iceman is dead, basically. But he was... So... Technicality, he's gonna be part of the Murder Mondays. So he's frozen stiff? <laughs> <laughs> he's frozen stiff because he's dead. <laughs> Man, that's just cold. Yeah, that even even that leaves a cold shoulder. Alright, people. <sighs> Let me go ahead and get this set up so um and I'll say my tagline like always. Um, I do appreciate you guys, every single one of you. And uh, thank you from the bottom of the whole dead black heart. But that's just a theory. A, a demon, demon theory. theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Whatever you do. Wherever you're at. And whatever the hell is going on. Stay frosty. Shut the hell up, hug. Oh. Whatever the hell is going on, stay spooky. That's it. Me. I'm going to give you the cold shoulder now. Raise head. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Am I going live on Spoon? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, freshly squeezed, freshly squeezed. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of live on here. I guess, I guess what I could do is kind of do a mixture of the both. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it all depends. You guys think I should go live on Spoon for a little bit after, <laughs> after Omega? <laughs> Let them know people are voting for me to go live, so I guess. I guess.
Well, I'm gonna see what, let me see how, how charged this phone is. Because this phone will actually allow me to, uh, oh shit, I can't really stop either. Yeah, I, 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 I could do it. in the Arctic. And you smell like ass too. In ways. See you um, in the Arctic? But yeah, seriously guys. Definitely worth checking out on um <coughs> definitely worth checking out on the Think About Frey tomorrow because honestly it would be a great way to kind of end my live stream in a sense with this uh, October month. Well yeah, this yeah, this month of October. Anyways, See you in the Arctic. And you're not going to be doing a live, are you? Yeah, I'm going to oh. go. That's what I'm saying. See you in the Arctic. Oh, okay. I, my bad. But seriously, guys. Um, uh, the Hasu will be going live here soon. So I'll just, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be there, but um, I'll definitely be listening again. So, please. The Hasu guy will be going live after this. And... And... See you in the Arctic. Husky! Okay, right on. Right on, partially squeezed. I'll look forward to it. Alright, guys. I will see you in the Arctic. Yes. 